catch and play. Catch and play. Oh. I woke up feeling like I was on the moon. I woke up feeling like I need a honey go. Look at the flick of that wrist. 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 I woke up feeling like I was check, on check, the check, 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 check. <laughs> I'll never forgive you for this. Is it that big of a deal? Dude, no, it just reminds me of uh no, you can wear my sunglasses, no, I don't care. Yeah, I but it reminds me weird. one of our friends, every time bam, bam, you would leave bam, some shit bam, at his house, bam, like when we were younger, every time you would like leave your hat at his house or sunglasses or anything, <laughs> a t t shirt, fucking underwear, brother. Like you leave something at his house, the next time you show up, he's wearing his shit. Got it all. <laughs> he's fucking wearing your all shit. All of it, the whole wardrobe. He's staring at you. <laughs> Every fucking time, he's like, what's up, man? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? <laughs> he's wearing your fucking hat. You're like, you bitch. Yeah. No, so it just invokes so, those feelings. <laughs> Check out my new sunglasses. Whenever <laughs> somebody wears my shit in front of me, I'm like, Mother and they don't, <laughs> they don't, they don't claim it's yours. It's yeah. theirs. They're, They're like, like, hey, look at the sunglasses I'm wearing. Check out hey, these new glasses, go. dude. New yeah. sunjis I got. On. <laughs> no, they just don't say. He just never said shit. He'd just be like, just try to get away with it for as long as possible. <laughs> hey, is this is that my hat? <laughs> no. Wait, no. what? What? <laughs> yeah. Nah, man. Yeah, especially if you already had a hat on, you'd be like, dude, you, what? You're gonna walk around yeah. and just carry yeah, your other two hat? hats? Yeah, what? dude. Just let me wear it, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, good times, good stuff. Well, welcome back. Yeah, welcome to the forty third episode of the Turd Coast Podcast. Those of you that are following along, you're going, "What the fuck?" I thought it was going to be a live cast. I mean, it is. We could play it right now, mm. or we could play it later. We didn't talk about that. We though. haven't talked about exactly when we're gonna uh, play it. We talked about it before, but yeah. dude, I'm moving this fucking thing. But yeah. It can all be edited by Clint's soft, gentle fingers. I think that's probably much better. Yeah. But we can definitely recap it on. Uh, so, show went awesome. Yeah, dude. We had a good I time. Mean, yeah, shout out to the bangers and the beers and the... Bangers, beers, and the buds. All the, the buds. buds. Yeah. Why do I always forget buds? I don't know why that's the hardest one for it's me to remember. the best one. Yeah. I'm a little antisocial, I guess. Yeah. Forget about the buds sometimes. But we want to thank you, Rob, and special guest Jacob for coming on. Yeah, shout out to that guy. Uh, uh, you guys don't even know who that is yet. Or do you? <laughs> There's no way to know, dude. <laughs> I'm going to splice this in at some point during this fucking cast. Yeah. But yeah, dude, no, the live cast was fucking fun. Uh, shout out to the band, the rest of the backers, Game Boys, Calpy, and Athy. You guys yeah. obviously know who they are because you've watched every episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, loyal it's, listener. It's, Looking like we might, it might be a monthly gig. Yeah, dude. We're getting, we're getting paid to do so this stupid ass podcast. So if you guys want to come check it out, yep. be on the cast, yep, sit front row with these two guys, then it'll be fun. Are you talking in laugh. third person? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm always talking. Like when I go to customers' houses, yeah. I'm like, all right, well, we'll I'll do the outside and then we'll come inside afterwards. And I'm like, yeah. I Every time I'm like, Will come inside. <laughs> dude, I I'm do like, that. Wait, I, what? <laughs> I would always fucking do that, dude. Every time. Like, I'm always speaking for the company. Like, oh, yeah, we'll take care of all of your problems. You but, know, but, like, I'm always, I was always like, and like, speaking for the entire also, company. Also, it's like, companies one part, but I'm like, also, I'm like, wait, like, am I talking about like, like, the little <laughs> thoughts in my head? How many of there are me? Yeah, <laughs> like, what the fuck's going on? Like, wait, what? <laughs> How many of me are there? <laughs> inside of my brain yeah uh yeah. great feedback love it city center at the texas city it's yeah, fun dude. as hell um got really drunk made some people laugh jammed had some a good music. time dude. dude the crazy shit all right so we were fucking we had fun you know good show everything uh we're getting out of there and fucking <laughs> uh xander has one last doobie dude you know we got in the parking lot and he sparks that bitch up and we're like fuck yeah we're just passing around. We had like two of the cars like parked, you know, near each other. And we're just kind of standing between the cars and we're passing that thing around and then just fucking right next to where we were playing. There was just a little thing that just said, you know, 
fucking Texas, Texas City, City Police. Police yeah. And I was like, damn, dude, what the fuck is that? And Xander was like, dude, they never staffed that place, dude. They were saying that like, they never see any cops. There's never any cops. We're out there after the show smoking a fucking doobie. And what the fuck happens? Here comes the Lake City fucking police. Or the fucking whatever. Texas City Police. I'm like, oh, shit. Dude, fuck. And Xander goes inside. And the cop fucking rolls up, and we're just like, oh, fuck. And one of the dudes has a doobie, and I'm just like, yo, pavo, oh, pavo, oh, pavo. He's like, oh. And he just, like, puts it out on the fucking, on my, like, bumper, basically. <laughs> He's just like, shit, shit, shit. But that cop just fucking just went, He had Burger King and, in his hands. He was not yeah. worried about y'all. Yeah. And even then, I was just like, I rolled up. When we got to the spot, I told Rob, I was like, yo, cops right there. I was just yeah, like, dude, what the fuck? what's up with that? And he's like, dude. They're never here. They just show up late. And I'm like, yeah. all right. And sure as shit, as soon as we're winding down, loading <laughs> out, last day of the night, just fucking mm-hmm. whoop. And he just like shuffles out of the police car. Yeah. This Burger King kind of looks around and he just goes yeah, inside. Just go straight inside. Like, yeah, because eh. you were coming back out was Rob, like right at that time. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. Here. There's actually yeah. a cop. Because we were like, shit, we should probably bail. <laughs> well. And fucking Desiree was like, oh, fuck, he has the keys. <laughs> Damn. And we're like, fuck, all right, we can't bail on Desiree. <laughs> like, shit, what are we going to do here, fellas? But no, it was all good. Wasn't worried. He had his little yeah. monkeys, his little sneaky yeah. snacks. He, he had the munchies too, dude. He confiscated a few pins earlier that day. But yeah, monthly gig. Yeah, dude. They all come out. For sure. Um, don't smoke J's in the parking lot late. Yeah. All right. Actually, you know what? Midnight. Do it. It, nothing happened. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. to do it. They don't give a fuck out there, dude. No, nah, it's it's a little hidden spot off the highway. It's it's all yeah. good and fun. It's pretty dope, dude. When we went in there, I was like, su- like pleasantly surprised. I was like, it's a pretty cool fucking place. Yeah. Like it's just they just converted an old mall into like just a giant fucking bar. It's yeah, it's like a big bar with yeah. um. Some it's German, so you know Xander loves it. Stuttgart Garden. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, it's a pretty cool place in there. They have like a big fucking beer house and shit. See sprechen Deutsch? No, dude. I didn't. I took <laughs> Spanish in high school like a normal fucking person. Uh, I took Spanish too. Oh, it was so funny. The other day, uh, it was, uh, one of the customers was Spanish and it's so funny. Like every time, I can't imagine like how many people like Spanish speakers get like poquito. Like after like they hear a white yeah, person yeah. <laughs> say they. Right. Uh, poquito, poquito, yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh shit, they're like, they don't know anything. I just don't know. Nah. So it's like, just fun to get the reactions. But uh, I, I lived in Puerto Rico for a few months. I knew a little Spanish, and I worked in the kitchen. Yeah, but you knew dirty Puerto Rican Spanish, dude. That's not the same. Yeah, dude, no True. way, man. That's True, completely. Different. No, when I was they getting, you say a Puerto uh, Rican word, they're like, when I was getting bu- rice and bu- beans at the corner store in Puerto Rico, I said frijoles. Mm. In right arroz, and they were like, "No, no, get your stupid no. bitch ass out of here." <laughs> they told me no. I'm like, "Go what? back to Texas." <laughs> and they're like, "We don't say frijoles, we say abichuelas." Abichuelas? Uh, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. "That's the same thing. It's just a different word." Yeah, I mean, I in my head, up. I didn't say that because I wanted my chicken and rice, <laughs> and my beans. <laughs> I say you were getting beans and rice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. were you couldn't afford chicken, bro? No, dude. Shit's cheap in the mountains. What? Chicken? Yeah. They give a half a chicken, rice and beans for like, it was like seven bucks. Yeah, that's what's up. For like, like a ball, oh, dude. Tell yeah, us some Puerto, Puerto Rico stories, dude. Some more pretty. Co- <laughs> yeah, besides you dying um, at the fucking, <laughs> on the beach. Yeah, my second day there, I almost Barracudas. died. No, it's my second day there almost died because the buddy we went there, who I moved with, he was like, let's go swim. Yeah, dude, he followed us recently. Oh, okay, really? I say Shout out AP. What's AP, up, brother? I saw your up, Hawaii dude? shit. So, so like, he, I, the second day I'm out in Puerto Rico, I, from Texas to Puerto Rico, he's like, let's go swimming. Yeah. So he takes me to a beach, and the beach he takes me to is, like, the worst beach <laughs> to swim at. Like, it's just a surfing beach. Like, it's called domes. So, like, there's <laughs> reef, and, like, there's all kinds of it's waves breaking, yeah, and a, it's just... You got to swim out and like there's a calm spot and then like yeah. get out there. And I'm like, fuck, I'm already tired because I'm like, did you have a board or no? No, we were, were just swimming. swimming. Yeah. We were swimming. No snorkel. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just free swimming. And I'm thinking gal like 
Whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. totally I'm, different. I just waters. go out to my waist and you go out there and you're just like, fuck, yeah. you're just getting cut up by it's a It's so different swimming, like, like the currents. Like, it's so weird, like, yeah, in, yeah. in different. I mean, it's an island, dude. It's, ca- it's just oh, catching it's the so crazy. The so tides we get out there and the kicker, right he, like, we get out there and I'm treading water. I'm like, cool, man. You know, like, this is awesome. And then he's like, yeah, just, just don't touch the bottom because there's sea urchins everywhere. <laughs> and I'm like. Oh great! I don't cool. Know how I'm long like, I can do this? Before. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> great. So we start treading water. You know, we're chilling. You know, getting some waves, body surfing, and then we're slowly getting out. <laughs> yeah, just deep. We're just deeper. we're just out, and we're like, "Yo, dude, what's going on?" And then at that point, I'm exhausted, and I'm like trying to swim back, and we're literally just, yeah, dude, just we're fighting it. And at that point, I'm on my back, like holding on to AP's like leg, and I'm like, "Yo, dude, like." You have to say, <laughs> yeah. and you he's have to he's say, he's man. kicking it. He's trying, yeah. but dude, we were just getting Going sucked nowhere. back. Yeah. And then right around this little break, there was this inlet where there was some a little beach, and he was like, "Fuck it, let's go!" And then we got around. Yeah. We just succumbed, like just yeah. You stopped let the water take yeah, you somewhere we else. Just yeah, followed it, and then when we went around little break, uh, there was a little beach there, and he was like, "Let's go." And we, Boom, boom, mm. last ditch effort, broke through and got to this beach, hauled up this like cliff yeah. of like debris. <laughs> it was so funny too, because the two there we were with two girls, okay, and they dropped us off <laughs> to go swimming and they're like, Let's, we're gonna do some shit. <laughs> they come back, they're like, Where the fuck are y'all at? <laughs> Holy we shit, get up dude. to the top, we like wave them down and we had to explain the whole shit. Yeah. Oh, it was nuts, man. <laughs> dude, that's so funny. Thinking about the girls dropping you off <laughs> and they come back and just like <laughs> yeah, we were like, so <laughs> distraught dude we were so cut what up was that? cut up so we had to climb up this dude. debris mountain basically <laughs> like a fucking 30 degree mountain just like trying to get out of this little beach oh it was oh, so man. nuts yeah man. no that's where i fucking that's why i don't go fucking swimming and shit like that because that's how i die Cause I suck at swimming. Like I could tread Probably water. Probably would have died if it wasn't for minutes. AP. Yeah, honestly. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah. So I would have. Yeah, I would have been right there. But I would have been holding on to it from like minute three. Like, yeah, dude. <sighs> on the way out there, I'd be like, dude, let me grab your foot. <laughs> no, dude, I can't swim for fucking shit. The Barracuda shit was funny, fun too. But uh, there's another one. So when when we we had a buddy out there, um, who lived right by the beach. Awesome spot. And he had some two, but other guy friends that kind of ran some lucrative shit, yeah, they you did know, some Grand so, Theft Auto type activities. Uh, this is like maybe like my third or fourth, maybe a month in living there. Yeah. And we would always go to his house and drink and, you know, smoke and party, go down. The beach was right there. Just, just get fucked up and party. So one night we go over there and we're drinking <laughs> And the guys roll up. They always have weed and, you know, like other stuff and whatever you, know. you want, Playboy. Yeah. And and they come out and they're like they tell me I'll pay you like a hundred bucks and give you like a half ounce of like this brick weed. Yeah, some shitty bucket in yeah, the some corner of the Shitty brick weed. weed. If you break up five dollar crack rocks <laughs> so nice. i literally spent like five hours <laughs> bad dude these bags were so tiny yeah, dude. dude the worst to, <laughs> the, the worst thing to bag up dude prison amounts of crack dude like yes tiniest, yes yes rocks. and i'm like that's hilarious busting all i got like a little method going and then like at the end of the day like i give him all the stuff he's right there the whole time yeah he's just but watching. i'm like the whole time i'm like dude like you could just be doing this like trust I, me i'm like, not gonna take I, any like, of I your crap get, i just like smoking <laughs> yeah. like i just like whatever this, it took me a few hours a couple of people around did it and then um paid us out gave us our weed Oh, it was so fucking funny. Yeah. Afterwards, they slapped you on the ass. Good job, boys. <laughs> Afterwards, we started smoking, and out there they roll the skinniest blunts, dude. Yeah. Like I'm telling you, like a half a G <laughs> yeah. and like a Rillo. Yeah, and they cut Rillos in half and roll two. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. So I'm rolling just regular. I'm thinking, just regular joint, you mm-hmm. know, like, and they're just like, what the. What? Hell? fuck are you doing well in all fairness you do roll some fat ass dubs bro but like you roll some fat ass dupe tubes but yeah if it's five dudes trying to smoke a joint it's like what the f- 
dog. You get one fucking hit off this thing. And then thing. they, the they hell, bring man? out the rest of the sack and they're like, roll me. Cause they, they're, the one, they're taking pictures of all this shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're like the fucking, they're like, I've never seen <laughs> yeah. anything yeah, dude, like literally, this that's what it was life. like. And they're just taking pictures. They're like, dude, roll all this up. And they give me blunts and blunts. And I rolled the fat. <laughs> and they're just like, what? Dude, they're going nuts, like, dude. Bro. I didn't believe you when you said <laughs> everything's bigger in Texas, but after seeing your incredible I doobage, love those guys. Like, <laughs> cool as yeah. shit, dude. They no English, but they were like they yeah, were homies. They're homies yeah. They were just homies, despite all the drug and you know whatever, whatever else going dude, on. But, shit happened. Oh uh, yeah, that was fucking fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Good shit. Um, Puerto Rico stories. Um. I, I don't know, man. It's probably some deep down we can save for later. But yeah, for sure. Um, There's definitely some stories I'm thinking of that we're not going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been in similar situations, my friend. Similar situations. <laughs> oh, fucking uh, falls! Fucking falls here, dude. Summer's over. The weather, dude. It's actually a fucking beautiful night tonight. Dude. And actually, you know what? Fall. <laughs> it's fall, dude. It's fall. It's fucking fall, dude. And I, I don't know if you noticed like what hat. Seven degrees. I don't know if you noticed which hat I chose to wear tonight. <laughs> I see that. Each sound represents. But last time we gave you a little shit. We're fucking with you, me and Calvi. But you want to talk about the uh, Astros? No, 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 no but harm, no foul. Please, I first, give you the I was floor just gonna just to announce to the world <laughs> for the first time what has happened in the last twenty-four hours with our beloved Houston Astros. Well, uh, we are the AL champs. Champions. Again, once again, brother. Once again. Again. That's why I'm wearing years, the gold hat, baby. Six, seven years straight. Every. It doesn't even. It doesn't. Since even the World matter. Series. And you know what? Our stupid faggot kryptonite, the Rangers, didn't even make the fucking playoffs this year. Oh, dude. So did you see that last game in Oakland? Uh, I did They not. played the Rangers. What? Oakland played the Rangers? Yeah. Okay. How'd that Think. go? Well, if it was in Oakland and they were playing the Rangers, then that would the Astros sure, well, surely Oakland didn't play is the Rangers. Closing the down, they're going to oh uh, Vegas, I think. Vegas, yeah, they're going yeah. with the Raiders. Yeah, they're going just A's. Sucks, man. They're not going to be Athletics. They're not going to be. They're just be A's. Oh, just A's. Just the, A's. Yeah, the A holes. <laughs> 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 Fucking asses. <laughs> but the game in Oakland was, I guess, against the Rangers. I don't know. I saw a video of it. I could be wrong, but whatever. But there was a fly ball hit. The Rangers went down and, like, fumbled it. Just yeah, they're just like, oh, another yeah, score Rangers runs. Uh, yeah. But yeah, fuck them, fuck the Rangers, yep. fuck the A's. Yeah, H yeah. town baby. Yeah, fuck them all. Um, so Money we're ball gonna play. Just uh, okay. Everybody loved Moneyball gotta, so much. Fuck the A's, dude. Uh, three game series with the Guardians. To it end doesn't out the season. matter. It doesn't matter. We already. Bro, do I so who are we gonna win? Hold on, let me. Who are we gonna face in the wild card? Uh, I have no idea. I don't fucking pay attention to baseball, dude. What the hell? It's gonna be the. Why Guardians? would you put me on the spot like this? I uh, I don't know. <sighs> <laughs> I don't think so. Aren't they fucking in it? Because I know deep down inside you don't want to bring up Sunday's game. What the fuck is your problem, <laughs> dude? <laughs> Let's look at the playoff bracket. <laughs> it's not up yet. No, no, it's not official, but as of today, it would be us and Detroit would be the first round. Oh, okay. Yep. The Guardians would be the two seed. Yankees the one seed. Um, Orioles the four. Kansas City five. Yeah. So, so it looks like Ghost today. Rose. I don't know how much of that is official, official. But go Strohs, we won the division, and that's all that yeah. matters, dude. Just like the Texans are going to win the division. Yeah. Listen, dude, we have two wins. Nobody, the Colts get, have one I, win. Nobody else in the fucking I didn't even say division anything. has Wagon, a win, so, so it's fine. Did. You know what? Wagon, you know so what happened in Minnesota, dude? <laughs> Bunch of fucking bullshit, dude. I don't know what the hell our offensive line was thinking, but 10, Laramie Tunsil yeah. has 10 penalties. And this would be crazy I was, I was if this was the first time he only shit had like this would happen. Eight the whole year last year. Which it felt like he had 120. Right. But 
nine in the second game. What third Laramie. game? Laramie, we, we love you, dude. You're one of the greatest <laughs> pass bowler, blockers, right? He's a that pro the bowler. city has ever known. Yes, he's a pro bowler, and he's a great pass blocker. What do you not think it was? Uh, blocker, what do you think? What oh, like Clint? Break this it guy. down though. Break it down though. What do you think it really was? Do you think it really was Tunsil? No, the refs hate. Houston, dude. So aside we'll never the refs, win the a refs championship. Aren't a, okay, the refs are not because our part. team's not good enough, but because the refs fucking hate us, dude. They love the Chiefs. Do you think it was the, the amount of noise? No. What noise in the crowd? No, dude. Because that shit was loud. It was the offensive line. I was watching my phone. Like it was rumbling. Dog shit is what happened. We never got. We had what? But one drive also, on offense. We've never beat the Vikings. Yeah, and it's one of those stupid is fucking things I'm really tired of. Yes, it's the Viking curse. So it's like the, the, the what's his name? The Boston, when he flubbed it on the World Series? Yeah, dude, it's the fucking, oh, what was that guy's what was his name? name? Bill Buckner. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Buckner. <laughs> Could have been. I don't fucking know. I'm not a I don't know. I'm not a fucking Sox Boston fan. fan. Yeah, fuck all that. Fuck that. I'm an Astros uh, fan. But yeah, I'll watch see. the game. Actually, watch the Texans game. And I was excited because, you know, of their um, performance against the Bears. But, you know. Yeah, no, happens. we look good against the Bears, which, I mean, that's a thing, though, because the, in the Colts and the Bears game, this is what scares me, all right, is in the Colts and the Bears game, we had multiple chances to just run away with those fucking games. And we looked really good up until the point of, like, all right, you're up a touchdown, and you have the ball, let's go ahead and go up two, or, you know, like, whatever, like, you're up nine points. Let's fucking close this game out. And we fucking totally did it. Now, one of those times was just Cam Akers fumbling, like, going into the end zone. And another one of those was just fucking going three and out at a bad time. And I get that that shit happens. But that did happen in both of those wins. So, and, I mean, fuck, the Colts look pretty the, shitty. Uh, and the Bears lost to the Colts. So, it's like, fuck, were both of those teams just really bad and we're not that good? Like, fuck. Could but, be the problem. Could, but, but Vikings the issue really, stem because our good, though. yeah the Vikings I yeah. mean obviously but Sam Darnold is their quarterback and like but if you got a good maybe team. he fucking found something and he's just gonna be great now and I mean all the power to you Sam Darnold go for it but, when have the Vikings been great um <laughs> when Randy Moss was there Dante <laughs> Culpepper no, you know maybe maybe then they weren't like great enough right. to win a championship they they're one players. of the they're one of the oldest teams I think that hasn't won one right right yeah. so I'm they saying. never like got over the that hump but more goes into that I mean they had the purple people years again, in like the 80s that and stuff. being said they've been great before and the Texans never being able to beat them I think that might have well the Texans haven't been around that long and they're in the NFC it's the same shit with the fucking Texas Eagles been around a while this is this is fair, but if you think about the way the scheduling works out, is compared to the Vikings for any out. for any random team in the NFC, we're only going to play them once every right. four years. So but like, yes, we've never division, beat them, but it's not like we're zero and twenty. You know, it's our twenty right, right. eighth season seven, or whatever. Seven it's games. Not, yeah, it's seven games, which is sucks. It's a pain in my out fucking of ass. The 12, Especially the Eagles one. Fuck you, Tom. I know you're fucking watching this, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, the Eagles um, too. Yeah. The Eagles one pisses me off too, but it's just there's there are some teams in the but NFC that we just again, never we haven't played that much. That but could yes, be a Super Bowl contender. It would have been great for us to with this fucking team with CJ Stroud with the guys who have looked pretty good. I mean, our fucking secondary has I mean, that's also one thing that scares me. Our secondaries look good at times. We've gotten interceptions. We've been very, you know, like opportunistic. But Anthony Richardson and Caleb Williams have both just fucking airmailed the shit out of like wide open receivers. Like it happens several times in both of those first two games. Fucking Sam Darnold didn't do that. But he they fucking couldn't, he made uh, all those passes. And it wasn't Jefferson fucking was on even fire. Aguilar. I mean it's Justin Jefferson. But still. But you know what does piss me off? You know what? Let's just fucking. <clears throat> Let's get into it. Eric Murray, one-on-one -on -one with Justin Jefferson, all the fucking time. Like, all the time. If he's going to be, a, which, fine, Murray, I respect your game. You would obviously, I could not get open for, you know, whatever. Respect, dog. But Justin Jefferson, whoever it is, I don't care if it's fucking uh, Stingley that's one-on-one -on -one with Jefferson. Let's get some help over there with him. This is the baddest man on yeah. the fucking league. He should not be. I agree. Us. I can't but believe they 
didn't double team or that's what i'm saying if two dudes are jumping up and jefferson's bringing it down and spinning and fucking fucking these guys up then fine i can live with that but when it's just our you know like nickel safety pressure one-on-one running across the field chasing jefferson they aren't throwing anyone else that's a terrible game plan and also our offensive line looked like shit but anyways we can move on yeah shout out to the astros though because but they won the division already so (laughs) <laughs> Texas is going to win the division. It's fine. We're going to the No, play. no, no. All no. This is, I have no doubts, listen, but we're going to be okay. I think what happened, uh, what might play a role in is the hype into the, ne- the season. Like, well, we Stroud, ended on a really good note. CJ Stroud, Stroud, Stroud just had, like, the best rookie really good season, season for any rookie of awesome. all time. Just to bounce back from that to face a decent team sure the colts are good sure the bears are good got a good quarterback but but the penalties man that's the thing we never stood a fucking chance we anytime we got anywhere how many how many all, it's even just second right, two right. great oh what well, penalty all right second and seven jackson it, it all fucking you're going to that game yeah obviously um how many penal penalties think tons of gets i hope zero dude i zero. hope he fucking how much would you bet he hones on it in i mean Shit happens, dude. Shit fucking happens. But, but hopefully, that, does it that shit doesn't happen? give up no sacks, none of that. I would, I hope. That's what I'm. I mean, how many do I think he's gonna get? I mean, honestly, at least one. But this <laughs> hasn't like, been an issue. Like this never happens, right? No, this has been an issue. This has been an issue. This, this many is, times in one game? Not in one game. I get in a year. No. The three penalty. We were third and two, at the fucking like. 31 I, yard line. I get that. And game. we got four penalties on that same third that. down. It was insane. No, nothing like that has ever happened in the history of football ever. It was so fucking embarrassing. I hope that our offensive line reigns it in and just no penalties yes. at all. A hold if you're saving CJ Stroud's life. Fine. Hold a motherfucker if you're, you know what I mean? If you get beat bad and you got to reach out and just tackle a guy, do it to save CJ Stroud. Fine. But when it comes to fucking. Like formation just penalties, actually and false starts, and all that stupid bullshit. Holding the line and like, moving on. No, just action. running, running procedure. Just starting a play. Yeah. If you can't line up in the right spot, or you can't like wait for old, the ball though. to get snapped. You know, he's an I old get man, it. Though he's very old. He's not very old. Dude. He's very old. He's like <laughs> what? Probably younger. Thirty-two. Than us. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he's not very old. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't fucking say that. I almost died. But he's a big guy, a lot bigger yeah. than us. No, shout out to Laramie Stunsel, all the yeah. respect in the world, dude. I Real mean, bowler. the gas mask video, dude. Shout out, but brother. That do you know that about Laramie Stunsel? Do you remember? I know you don't because you don't pay attention to draft stuff. But like, whenever he was drafted, fucking eight years ago, whenever it was, seven years ago, the reason he like kind of dropped in that draft is because right before draft day, a video of him taking a fucking gas mask bong hit came <laughs> out. And it was Hell right yeah. when it was right before we got legal in like California and stuff like that. So everybody was a little yeah. weird about it. The NFL was still testing and shit. Um <laughs> but yeah, so he dropped in the draft and that's how Miami ended up with him. <laughs> but no, he was like one of the top prospects. I mean shot, Tunsil. Larry Tunsil's a fucking legend. Dude, dude. I don't legend. Need, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but it kills us inside. The penalties kill the fans, man, especially at home, dude. If you're doing that shit at home, you're gonna get so much booze. I know the H Town fans and they love to boo shit. If there's something that's like, you know what I mean? If there's a guy who has a case of the drops, if he drops one in front of the home crowd, they're going to fucking boo you, dude. It's going to happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's any, If anything is a dude. pressing need, if anything is something that has been talked about a bunch this week and it continues, the fans will boo you. I know this. Another fucking rib shot. Fairbairn's miss. You know... He made what, like six fifty yard, fifty plus yarders in a row. That shit ain't easy, man. Fifty, what was it fifty three yard field goal, dude? That should be worth more, right? I mean, plus in 50? fantasy football, they are, but really, yeah. How so, like, if it's a, if it's like say thirty nine yards or under, like any kick from thirty nine to zero, which there's no zero yard kick, but whatever, um, thirty nine to whatever is three points, and then from 40 to 49 is four points. So, from 50 sorry to, to cut you off, but five despite points. the extra point on a... Extra point is just one. Oh, okay. Extra point is just one, but an actual field goal. But a three-pointer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Three-pointer. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, it was a crazy game last night. This dude <laughs> fucking just rolls back, just hits the fucking three right at the fucking buzzer, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's just a funny way to describe it, right? It's fucking it. three ball goes three up. Ball. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fucking, the three ball in. It's right in there, dude. <laughs> Sunk that shit, dude. Swish that fun the fuck. I mean, the same, same context. Yeah, it makes I mean, sense, it makes dude. Sense. It's a fun thing to say, actually. I enjoy that three pointer <laughs> from yeah, 50, that three, dude. dude. Three from the top of the key. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so fun. <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, <laughs> so yeah. That's Kristen's favorite player, so you'll never hear me say an unkind word about him because yeah. he might take my place one day. Yeah. Never know. Yeah, he's a wine. But. He's a dream boat. We'll give it to him. Shit. Yep. That's more that's more fifties than I've seen a lot of people kick. Listen, I've lived through terrible kickers with this Texas <laughs> team, dude. <laughs> we the, had some good ones, we had some okay ones, and we had some oh, real what, what fucking was the bad Randy ones. Bullock? Fat Randy. Yes. <laughs> Fat Randy. Fat fucking God Randy, damn you, dude. Randy. It's crazy. The Texans drafted him in like, I don't know, maybe <laughs> the third or fourth round out of Texas A&M. And everybody was like, what the fuck? They drafted a kicker? This fat that guy? was crazy. And then this dude comes in. He's like, no, I mean, he was. Ta- I mean, he made a bunch of really good kicks for Texas A&M. And he was like supposed to be the <laughs> fucking dude. And he sucked. sucked. And he stuck around the league so for like 10 bad. years because he has it a fucking leg on too, him. too because that's dude. when we got our team. Like that's when Houston got our team. It's like, dude, the worst Yeah, he person. wasn't the first one, but you, yes, dude. It was just, but it's like. Terrible investments by the Right, Texans. like at over least have a good over kicker. Over at least have again. a good kicker. Yeah. Like of all the people, have a shitty running back, have a shitty tight end. But. But here's what we need to do. At least fourth man. round, I'm thinking that kicker <laughs> down at Texas A and M. The fans will <laughs> love it, man. You know how many A and M fans we got running around here? Dude, they got fucking uh, running backs kicking. Dude, kick off, shout out Daria Goodwall. He's still on the still on the Texans, dude. Right? Emergency kicker and good That's fucking saying, special like, teams guy. And I mean, he can be a running back. He can't. I mean, he's not like one of the elite running backs in the league or anything like that, but he can run the damn ball, break a tackle here and there. Fuck it. He can, a, he can get a first down on fucking third down sometimes. Pull him back there. Put Bullock back there. Yeah, put Fat Randy back there. <laughs> um, Call of Duty Zombies, the new one. I don't fucking know about anything new. Call of Duty. You haven't played it? No. So me you and my lady, I love Call zombies. of Duty Zombies? Yeah. So I love. Dude, I give up. I've given up on this. I love zombie games. No, we have never talked about yeah, your love of zombie all games. Time. All right, fine. Talk about it. Zombie games, shooting games. Anyways, uh, Call of Duty Zombies. They have a new open world Call of Duty Zombies. So you go into the. Uh, I can't remember the. I have played that. If if it's the one that's on like the Warzone map. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have played that. So you just. I don't. I, I can't remember what it is. But, anyways, you get dropped in and you just kind of do missions and yeah you go pick up stuff and, and it's like oh there's stuff, some eggs over here go fucking them, fuck them up and you yeah, kill them yeah and there's but we're trying to evac and then but the zombies come at the end I just wanted to get your point of view on that versus the classic horde oh the like, new zombies fucking sucks dick dude yeah, yeah yeah the old zombies was the best with the uh like it was like at the like old German cinema right, right, or right, whatever right, right. and you just Open up all the doors There's and a few run around ones, in a circle. But what was that Van der Toten or some shit? Like something that? like that. I don't know. I didn't take German in high school like you did. So. Whoa, bro. Yeah, I didn't read fucking <laughs> Mein Kampf in high school like you did, dude. Um, but yeah, no, it totally sucks. Yeah, yeah, no. totally sucks. It's okay, like, but eh. but it's just not like horde nah. base, like level base. Yeah, it's just. So no, we gotta I, go do this, do that. I want to like know where my guns are at. I want to know where my reloads are at. I want to strategize and just the more zombies, the merrier. Yeah. I don't want to travel around a random map. Yeah, I mean, you it's a huge map, and if you do play huge Warzone, map. you know the map a little better. But I mean, I played the I pl- when that Warzone came out. I played it. It was fun, but. I, th- I don't know, man. Battle Royale games are just dead for me, and no. the zombie version of it is just, dude. It's it's, no. it's okay, but it's like no. the further you push into those little it's, zones, it just gets harder and harder, and it's like just make a different game. To, yeah, it's just just make a different make game. Make a good zombie game. Yeah, man. just make a good like, zombie game. And other people are fucking doing that. I don't know who those people are, but you know, other people are working on strictly zombie games. 
There's some out there. I mean, there's what, what was that one? It was like, uh, so Left 4 Dead was dope back in the day, but uh, Back for Blood was like the new version of it, and we were super stoked, stoked about that shit. We were playing the beta and stuff, and it just kind of sucked. It wasn't there was that much one. Fun. Um, it was okay, but it wasn't good. What the fuck was it called? God damn it. Zombie games. Zombie Dead games. Island or Dead Island was pretty decent. Yeah. Not too terrible. It's been a while, Just I guess, since a good slasher. zombie games came yeah. out. Um Plants yeah. versus Zombies. <laughs> 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 I'm le- I'm legitimately it. Embarrassed by the amount of time I've actually spent playing Plants vs Zombies, because <laughs> I could get it. I got it like um, online. Like I was playing it on my work computer when I worked at one of the universities I worked at. Um, I would play that shit fucking for hours. It was like on the actual computer. It was like one of the Microsoft builds that had that built into it. I was like, oh hell yeah, dude, let's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like tower defense game. It's fucking stupid. No, that and fucking. okay, so. It, there's a game there. You, one of the sites, I don't know if it fucking still works, but back when I was a kid at school and college and stuff like that, um, there was a website called a and it was just like flash games. Mm. And one of the games was zombie football nightmare and it's soccer because it's some British bullshit, but football. zombie zombie soccer. So basically what I would do is they would talk like there was a guy on the side and he would just cross you over a ball and like, there's a zombie like walking towards you like real slow and you just have to like, kick the ball and hit him in the head or whatever and there's a goalie and you do the same thing and then the next level there'd be more zombies so you have to like try to knock their fucking heads like you're, it's basically like a timing game where you just kick their fucking heads off and shit nice. it was the amount of time I've wasted on that game I've actually beat that game it's a flash game like, <laughs> there's levels you're kind of not supposed to beat and I fucking just like did it time spent four yes, days dude I'm, t- I'm telling you <laughs> and this was all times when I would be like all right, I'm going to go to the computer lab, do some homework. I get like halfway through my nah, homework. I'm like, all right, dude, let me take a break and then spend four hours playing fucking zombie football. <laughs> and then be like, ah, fuck, it's fucking midnight. The fucking t- <laughs> the lab's closing. You get shit, shit done. <laughs> Only wrote half that fucking paper. Yeah, dude, I did that so many times. Yeah, so me and Clint uh, decided we're going to start hiding some Easter eggs in our podcasts. So uh, be on the lookout. If you've heard something or seen something or noticed something that we've done or seen or talked about, you may notice or see them or talk about them later. It's called, or we're going to repeat bits. <laughs> what do you mean no, there's Easter fucking eggs. Easter eggs? No, check it out. There's <laughs> we're running out of shit, so we're going <laughs> to talk about the same shit again. It's now on that we my have list. more subscribers. We were, while we were outside getting really high, we started talking about Easter eggs. Dude, I know what you're saying, but. We have Easter eggs in, like, we already have some? No, there's some in the room. I hit them. <laughs> is it just candy or is there cash in some? There's them? some stuff in there. <laughs> some real good some stuff. Some of that fucking crack, <laughs> that Puerto Rican crack. Yeah, man. Boy. Good luck finding it. So, are you more into BBL, BBC, or BLTs? Ooh. So, BBL. <laughs> That's a big booty Latina. Is that am I right in thinking that, or what does BBL mean? It could be m- many things, but we'll take that. All right. Um, whew. Well, considering I married a white lady, I should probably not say that. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, definitely BLTs. And I always thought it was weird that like the BBC, dude, the BBC, big black chicks. Oh, big black chicks. Yeah. That's what comes up when you type that into your porn search. Mm. It's just big black <laughs> chicks. <laughs> yeah. This is what you conv- convinced your wife and parents, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, what, what the I fuck get. is BBC? That's what I get when I look it up. Big but black uh, chicks. <laughs> uh, what's a BLT then? Sandwich? Because <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Sandwiches. <laughs> Hopefully, I did not sign up for like <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> big Latino trannies or something, you know. Uh, but yeah, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Yeah, little uh, mayo on there. <laughs> no Toast mayo. the bread, dude. Please Toast no the bread. Mayo. 
extra mayo. Would you? Would, are you mustard enough with fucking <laughs> yeah. BLT, Hell dude? Yeah, Gross. Bro. Gross. America, vote on uh, which well, is grosser. Honestly, dude. it's just gonna be a lettuce and mustard. Mayo. Huh? Lettuce and mustard. You're cutting out the tomato too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you toasting the bread? No, bacon's got to go in there. I'll probably gonna add some provolone, some uh, salami, <laughs> maybe like <laughs> a chicken breast. <laughs> Put it on a sub on a totally. brioche. Yeah, it's gonna be a B P L P O P L T. How much P is going on, <laughs> on the sandwich, dude? Pickles, uh, penis. <laughs> 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 Gotta have many layers of the pee. <laughs> um. So, I just wanna wh- what? Um. Nothing. Um. So frisbee golf. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> so gay. Um. Frisbee golf. Oh, uh, that's fun. I threw a few frisbees while we were there at the, the show. It was. It was pretty fun. Uh, I've never done it before, but Rob was like DJing in there. If I was him, I just would have played that one song. It's like, look at the freaking, look at the flick of the wrist, Ooh, look at the flick of the wrist. <laughs> so I would have just nonstop. Yeah, the whole I'm time. not good at. Just he had like a big disco trying to aim my frisbee throwing. <laughs> Calvin keeps texting me. He wants me to come hang out with him because he's bored at the house. Yay. <laughs> he's like, how's the podcast go? <laughs> <laughs> Calvert, just wait, dude. Chill, just dude. Chill, dude. God. I know I'm cool, but you're gonna have to share me with the rest God, of the boys, dude. It's fucking eleven Jesus. o'clock at night. Yeah, dude. man. Fuck. Oh fuck. Um. So frisbee golf is gay. <laughs> uh, no, listen, dude. If anybody goes out in the woods and you know wants to dedicate their lives to bang some chains, bangs, banging chains or whatever that is, <laughs> that's fine. But you know, banging chains. <laughs> Just not sure, you know. Nah. Huge shout out to the Frisbee Golf uh, local community. We love yeah, you guys. I guess we're going to be doing a lot of shows with them. So yeah, yeah dude. So actually, you know what? Frisbee Golf? We actually love you guys. Cool. We might actually have an actual sponsor on our way. What? So, from the from the looks of it and the talks of it and the smells, <laughs> it, might, <laughs> it might be... Uh, Listen, what are you doing for this sponsorship? <laughs> hey, man. Whatever we got to do. <laughs> whatever we got Whatever the boss man says. Yeah, whatever he says. I'm do- <laughs> no bacon on the salad. <laughs> uh, turkey bacon. Yep. Um, Diddy got busted. Listen, man. Diddy is just a front, all right? What do you think about Jay-Z? Just so everybody knows, Jay-Z is also just a front. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. <laughs> Just so, so everybody knows. But uh if we're gonna get into the Diddy stuff. Diddy? Uh, I don't know, dude. You know what the you know what the thing about Diddy? I don't know why it is. And it's, I don't it's, I don't like Diddy. I don't like Diddy. I never like fucking Diddy. Even in the fucking Biggie songs where Diddy's in the background, he's just like, Oh yeah, you know. I never fucking his I've, I've never been a Diddy fan. But it's just a little weird to me how much like everybody's piling on you know what i mean it just feels like such a thing to do it's like oh like everybody that's on my stupid facebook and instagram and all that shit is just like oh the cops when they got to diddy's house and it's just you know pictures of fucking lube uh-huh. and just whatever people falling downstairs just all that stuff all the yeah. memes coming out yeah it's just like dude why is everybody so into but shitting on diddy, i got a dude? pretty good point i, I don't know if his he's name whatever Sha- his like, name is sean combs right yeah so well his name's Diddy. Yeah. Did he? Did he even do it, dude? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Easter eggs. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dog. Easter eggs. Don't bring him out. You can't tell him. Now it's uh, not Easter egg. Fuck, damn it, damn it, damn, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Damn 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 damn. No, so I'm saying this is one of the Diddy Easter eggs. Did egg. he pee? Did he even did do he? it? Huh? Did he pee, did he? Yeah, dude. No, that was R. Kelly. <laughs> R. I Kelly heard he peed. was at his yeah, party, too. Did. He definitely was at Diddy's party. Yeah. Also, uh, Bill Cosby's charges got dropped based on clerical errors. 
No fucking way. Mr. Isles. Yeah, he's out. He's fucking hanging They out. misspelled his name. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know why P. Diddy's getting it so much harder than fucking everybody else. But I don't know. Because he got away with it a lot longer. Yeah, I mean, he's been diddling. I'm not saying. I'm not trying to give him a pass. He's the diddler. But I'm just saying if I had a billion dollars, guess what? I'm coming for your butt, dude. Dylan All boys. the homies are getting it, dude. All the homies are fucking getting this dick, dude. Are you kidding me? Hell yeah. A here, billion have this dollars? Beer. You want a beer, yes. dude? Drink this beer, bro. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> let's go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's move on to our final segment. Clint defines. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, First one's uh, f- fog juice. What? Fog juice. Juice, fog juice. Um, I'm picturing maybe old man, gray pubes, mm. some type of dust that's emitted from the end of his <laughs> penis. <laughs> that's where my mind goes to. Like, like uh, Mr. Leahy. We've been watching a lot of fucking Trailer Park Boys. All right, my wife. Shout is, out. I'm fucking watching all the Trailer Park Boys. Shout out to all the Trailer Park Boys. Um, but no. yeah, so I'm thinking Leahy busting a nut. No, it's, it's just dust, just it's fog ju- juice. Just, just the amount of precipitations. Less than a mist, but m- less than a rain, but more than a mist. Fog juice. Are you a fucking meteorologist, dude? <laughs> we got a bunch of fog juice <laughs> forecast. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite thing. Meteorologist, like, Doctor Ken, fucking bone or whatever. It's like Doctor Ken Eisenhower the yeah. second. Like, oh, you're a doctor of meteorology, <laughs> dude. Get the fuck out of my. Yeah, face. we got a bunch of fog <laughs> juice <laughs> rolling in. Be prepared, folks. Gonna get it all oh, wet. Yeah. We're gonna you're gonna want to watch out on those roads this morning. We got a lot of fog juice <laughs> coming your way. <laughs> Hell yeah! On the south That's side, that's so much cooler than like yeah. mist or like you know like <laughs> smog or some fog. Fog juice. It's gonna start up north <laughs> and head down <laughs> south. <laughs> Hell yeah! Down yeah real dude. Low south. That was that was one thing, dude. It was like so. For whatever reason, oh, when I was younger, I, I got super in. So yeah, go pee. That's fine. I'll tell the story. So whenever I got into, um, or when I was younger, I got into like fucking talk radio, right? It's before the podcast days, before all the bullshit. I got super into like sports talk radio. And like one of the things about like older, like they don't do that shit now. They're all fucking PC and all fucking zipped up and gay now. But back in the, back in the day, there used to be this thing called sexy traffic. And there was this lady that would come on on the sports channel, and she'd be like, "Oh, it's real backed up on fifty nine head and sound, dude." <laughs> it was so fucking stupid, and it'd be like shit like that, like, "Oh, there's a bunch of fog juice heading down south this morning." <laughs> like, I don't know, that shit used to always crack me the fuck up. I forget that lady's name, but there's also a video online on YouTube, unless they took it down, of that lady walking around the studio in a bra. <laughs> I forget her name. Oh, fuck. I don't know. That's gang on Sports Talk Radio. <laughs> that was back when Sports Talk was good, dude. But now it sucks. Okay, dude. All right. I have to tell this story. So, Xander, I hope you can, uh, <laughs> hope you can, uh, listen to this story that i have and maybe empathize a little bit okay you're taking like a super like spicy thick like rugged turd you know what i mean like the other day okay so the other day do i i take this fucking this like full-on like baby ruth covered in hot sauce dude just fucking this fucking just rocked up boy the thickest turd, dude. The thickest fucking turd. And afterwards, I was like, <sighs> <laughs> like I literally was holding on to the counter, and I needed a fucking minute. I was like, dude, this is this is why you don't go to prison, dude. This is this feeling right here. This is why I don't want to go to fucking prison, dude. Right here. So was, <laughs> like, dude, just I'm that intrigued. thing. That turd wrecked me. I'm brother. intrigued because it was like. It was like I'm a always infatuated. What did you eat? What did you eat, dude? That's a thing. Pizza. Pizza. Did you change it up? 
Would you go Papa John's or Papa John's, dude? So I went beef, bacon, mushrooms. Oof. That's where you fucked up. What are you talking about? The mushrooms? <laughs> no. Beef. What's wrong with beef? <laughs> no, did you get the spicy? No, I don't I don't get the spice like the Italian sausage. That's no, where you no. fucked up. Man. Standard beef, dude. When you get spicy. No. Well, why was it so spicy though? That's the thing I can't understand. You got right. It's because I ate the fucking pepper before. That's oh, probably the pepperoni. why. I ate the not the pepperoni. The fucking little banana pepper that's in there. No, it's not spicy. It's though. not that spicy, no. But it's got a little something to it. It's not like zero spice. Did you spice. have some late night chili? I didn't, dude. I didn't do nothing. Late night hot I didn't dog. do nothing. And I took the spiciest fucking late turn. Night, uh, Gushers. It hurt. Some I had sweets. somewhere to go too, dude. I was like about to leave. I was like, all right, yeah, let me just go. Drop the kids late off at the pool. Smoothie? And I'm going to head out and fucking like. You don't deluge. <laughs> <laughs> in That's late. not a word. Yeah, it is. Um, late night snacking. Like constantly, dude. That's why. That's why my I had a sharp turd this one time. Yeah, I had late night snack every night. That's why I have tits. It's why I, up. It's the late night snack, right? It has nothing to do <laughs> with up. this one sharp turd it that I had the other day. No, sir. You got an issue? I did have an issue. I mean, I'm fine now. Thanks for oh, asking. Okay. My butthole is good. It stopped bleeding. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> but wait, you got a hemorrhoid? No, it wasn't a hemorrhoid, dude. It was oh. just turbo du- turbo duke, dude. Turbo. It hurt. You're good now? It's, it's healed up? I mean, physically, I'm fine. Emotionally, I'm not so sure. No. I don't know. I'm it's scared, up, I'm though, scared right? to poop now, dude. <laughs> it's healed up, though, right? I was molested by my own turd, dude. That's what happened to me. You got PTPS? Yeah, I got butthole PTSD. BPT. <laughs> BT B P T S E P D P S Post Traumatic Boop Syndrome <laughs> <laughs> Yeah Post Traumatic Butt Syndrome <laughs> PTBD Yeah yeah PTBD It's all good man Um next word Alright what words you got? Uh Blorbo Blorbo? <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah Blorbo How did you guess the name of my sex robot? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blurbo. It's the uh, act of blowing a raspberry while giving a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be shaved to do that and pull that one off, right? There's no way with a full bush you're pour- pulling off a blurbo. <laughs> There's no way. You got to be fully shaved. You got to be baby smooth to get the... <laughs> You know, at the end, <laughs> that's a stretch. Also, but that's a thing. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was a myth until I met one, but some girls don't have gag reflexes, so they can blurbo. Either that, or my brother, <laughs> <laughs> my brother, <laughs> you got a tiny little dick, dude. How the fuck is she getting all the way down, brother? Like, I mean, if she's just going for it and gagging. Marry that bitch, no. but um, the if act of not, blowing a raspberry on a yeah. while you're giving a blow job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, yeah. you gotta you gotta get to some skin. You never had one in your mouth, like. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. What? <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me we've been watching a lot of trailer park boys in my house <laughs> and it's just the stupid little things that make me laugh so hard there's one scene where uh fucking Leahy is talking to fucking Barbara and they're like arguing about something and while they're arguing Randy's just grilling a fucking hot dog right and then like something happens they stand up and they're like arguing and Randy like walks around the back and he just shoves the entire hot dog in his mouth and eats it in one fucking bite he's like <laughs> and just, he's like freak off Bar it's about those nuances. with a mouthful of hot dog dude. those subtle nuances it's just so fucking funny dude <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I've never had a wiener in my mouth, so I mean, outside good. of a baseball game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next next Horrible. next word, uh ass hug. It's pretty self explanatory. That's one thing, dude. <laughs> never had an ass hug? I have. You never ass hug your lady? 
Dude, no, I've been ass hugged by like <laughs> my boys. <laughs> no, when I was younger, uh, it's not my dad used to have better. two working four wheelers, so we were fucking cruising around on them and things, you know, a lot. And sometimes my boys would ass hug, you know, <laughs> they just get right up, you know, <laughs> just hold, hold on tight. No homo. No homo. I mean, we were hitting the fucking, we were hitting jumps and shit. Dude. It was we vibrating. Fucking, yeah, we were going fucking hard in the woods. <laughs> No, it was funny. One time, one of my friends, so there was like, we we used to hunt at this one place and we had like, there was like all these like trailers and shit like parked at this one little campsite and then we would hunt right off that property. And uh, there was like a little track all the way around all of the fucking campers. So one time, some of my buddies like came to the deer lease with us and I was like, hell yeah. And like, we were racing the fucking four wheelers around and the brand new one. Like, the old one was, like, my dad had, like, an 80s model fucking Honda 4 tracks, yeah. and then, like, a brand new, like, 2000, like, 4, yeah. Forsman or whatever. Anyways, regardless, he, fu- like, the old one was actually faster than the new one, but the old one didn't have brakes. So, <laughs> <laughs> you had to downshift and shit. <laughs> and one of my buddies, we were fucking racing around all the shit, and, like, all the, like, adults had gone off to, like, you know, fill feeders or do some shit, and we were, like, all right, it's just us here. Let's race these fucking four wheelers. So we start going, and one of my buddies just like didn't turn, and it like the entire campsite was just surrounded by woods, and he just fucking boom, just took off into the wood. Like he tried to fucking hit the handbrakes, and they didn't work. He mashed because it's a it's a fucking thumb pedal, so he like mashed everything. So he just whoa, and just fucking just took off and fucking hit. There was like a down tree in the woods, and he hit that shit and just flung off and shit. But either way, did you break weird. anything? Uh no he I mean like jammed his wrist real bad but uh we like got the four wheeler back and we parked him and my dad came up and like it was like the next you know whatever he was like hopping on one of the four wheelers to go do something like maybe later that night or whenever and he just like looked and the fucking that whole thing had just been like bent <laughs> this way and he's like what the fucking like had to bend it back I was like what the hell did y'all do I was like nothing, <laughs> nothing. Just a bunch just, of ass hugging out yeah here. we're all just acting like nothing and one of our buddies is just like fucked up his ribs are all bruised and like you know like uh, just act like no, no we're cool ass hug that was a good time that's that's an ass hug yeah. it's riding on a four wheel with your boy yeah. that's way better uh, it's just a hug instead of going around the back you just hug cheeks oh straight to cheeks yeah <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. Me and my wife definitely do that just, quite a bit. Just, just fucking straight. hit the cheeks, <laughs> yeah, just, just straight into the straight to the cuffs. Yeah, dude. I mean, I I'm a gropey man. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm grabbing tits whenever I see. We're him. men. We're gropey. Getting a little booty in there. Yeah. Yep. So. <laughs> so. Bussin. Bussin. <laughs> so bussin is really good. Like. This beer's busting. Yeah. Oh my god. (laughs) 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 Beautiful, dude. (laughs) This beer. (laughs) Oh fucking. (laughs) Well, I think it's about time for the (laughs) live cast. <laughs> so we'll bring that to you now. <laughs> awesome. Well, we welcome to the 43rd episode of the Turd Ghost Podcast, live and direct from the this city is, center in Texas this is City. A special edition. We are live, 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 in front of all of our friends. There's almost 10,000 people right on the other yeah, side of the camera. Can't see them. So many Maybe people. 11,000. Make, make 11, some noise, everyone. We stopped counting. We stopped taking tickets. They busted down the door. It's a Travis Scott concert in here right now. We have a very special guest. Um, introduce yourself. Hey, so I'm Jacob Rodell. Uh, I run the Pearland Disc Golf Degenerates, which is the toppest notch disc golf club here in Houston. Oh, oh. nice. 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 So Hell yeah. Let's give it a round for the Degenerates. Yeah, let's go, Degenerates. So what does that entail? Like you just set up tournaments. What do you? What do you? So we run a weekly event okay. uh, over in Pearland. Nice. On every single Thursday for the last 192 weeks in a row. Damn. And when I say in a row, that means if there's a, a hurricane, tornado, I've got at least 15 people out there every single Thursday. <laughs> Hell yeah! There's like. like <sighs> yep. Yep. So, so do you prefer the term disc golf or frisbee? 
I, I prefer real golf. <laughs> you prefer real <laughs> golf? <laughs> but, but yes, disc golf. <laughs> That's that was another question I had. So disc golf. Is yes. that just real golf, but like, you know, for like us uh, white trash people? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing a disc into a basket. Yeah. yeah. No. You can't afford clubs, but we can afford yeah. plastic discs. You can't afford discs. clubs, but... Yep, yep. <laughs> You get a, you get not a gonna lie, you make uh, a couple of those. it's not a very easy sport. I used to throw a frisbee at the beach, but that's about as far as I go. <laughs> yeah, throwing into metal chains, I feel like a retard. Yeah. <laughs> well, you are. Oh, one. sorry. Just did. Oh, the crowd is turned, folks. Oh, the crowd is turned. Oh God! On us immediately. Don't don't kill me. <laughs> Xander used the R word. I'm sorry, but for <laughs> real though, it sucks. Like going from just like, oh, we're having fun, until like, it's like real competition. Like I'm throwing a frisbee for like points, you know. That's <laughs> yeah, why you just I have to pretend that you're having fun. Okay. You're playing <laughs> like you're all That's why you, you get so drunk you can't remember what your score was. <laughs> you make up a very high number at the end of the day and you just move on with your yeah, life. Yeah, someone else count your score for you, and you're just like, I'm just here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah there exactly. You go. There you go. So, uh, how does it compare to real golf or putt putt? Like, what are what do we? Uh, I mean, here we have more of a, a putt putt style course today, where you know you're you're shooting off of tables on, into yeah. ramps, you're going through windows. Okay. Um, yeah, we got a, a disco type situation yeah. going on. We'll get some B roll. We'll, we'll put it up. Some, yeah. At some point. How was the course in there? It's pretty fun. Yeah. Um, a little bit different. Uh, Rob normally runs one every single Sunday. Um, right. Right. No, normally there's not as many obstacles. Normally it's not the disco ball style, mm. but. It, I like challenging. The way it's it's quite challenging. Nice. But I, I, I'm an awful putter either on really? the on the radio <laughs> disc golf course or here. So maybe yeah. not the best judge. <laughs> yeah, I'm an awful putter too. I'm just yeah. like. Eh. Does it matter which which chain you hit? If you throw it and it just gets in one it, of them, it does that land, count as a score? It has to land in the basket. In the basket. Okay, just in the basket, no matter how. No yeah. matter how. Nice slam dunks. What, that's um, what is traveling? <laughs> <laughs> you just have to stand behind your disc and throw. Understood. What? How? So you all play every weekend? Uh, I got I got nerds out here that are playing yeah. every single day. Every day. Yeah, nice. Shout out to my boy Phil, who's somewhere out there. Who? Phil. Let's go. Shout Phil. out, Phil. Phil. I we we keep a running tally of how many people are playing at Centennial Centennial Park every single day, and Phil, out of a thirty. 30 day month will have 34 rounds. Holy shit. Jesus <laughs> Christ. He's like the Tiger Woods of yeah. disc golf. He's the Tiger Woods of Centennial Park. That's God nice. damn. So he's he's probably plowing through what? 5, 6, 30 cases a week? <laughs> just so on the course. Something like that. <laughs> just is it, on is the it course. worse to be what, really dog. drunk showing disc or really stoned? I, if you partake. Maybe a combination of both. Yeah. <laughs> right, because you never have don't, either don't, or. Don't look at any of the trash cans at Centennial Park. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah please don't look at any of the trash butts. cans. No, no. <laughs> well, that's cool, man. Up. All right, so what's a, what's a crazy, like, what's what's the craziest thing you've seen going out there? See Anybody get any stitches? Anybody <laughs> poop? Anybody poop their pants? Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> By chance? Foo! What's up, Foo? <laughs> Foo! <laughs> I might have a, a photo album of Degenerates peeing in the woods. Oh, nice. uh, oh beautiful. Oh, that's I'm playing work, in the background way, right now. Working my way towards a, Chris, working towards a Christmas calendar. There you yeah. go. Oh, Where oh, else are you dude. supposed to pee? Yes, I like, did There's that. no porta potties. <laughs> like, no, it's it's like, the woods. They're setting you up. They want you to pee in no, the normally woods. Normally they'll tell you, I'm out looking for my disc. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> got, shake that one. Yep, yep. <laughs> they're just unzipping their pants. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Yeah, so, I like to pee in the woods too. Oh, yeah, it's fun. I used to pee in my backyard, yeah, but that. our fence fell down, and my neighbors can see me, so I can't pee in my backyard anymore. <laughs> yeah, you just That's unfortunate. Your house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get arrested. <laughs> so are you a lefty or a righty? Uh, Right-hand thrower, but left-hand about everything else. He's not talking disc golf. <laughs> no, I, I hey, man, it's, it's a it's an open convert. It's an open question. <laughs> Righty. Righty? Hell yeah. yeah. I'm a lefty. There you go. That's weird. Never thrown a disc golf, but <laughs> that's, that's that's weird, dude. I don't like that. <laughs> you should start using your other hand, God damn. Yeah, I had surgery on my shoulder, on my right shoulder, so now it's just left hand's my dominant. But now I'm married, so. I got to take the ring off. Am you know. Ambidextrous. Ambidextrous? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm married too. <laughs> yeah. 
The, my ring was slippery from popcorn earlier, right? <laughs> yeah. Kristen. Yeah. What sweat, do you want from me? Sweat and lotion, you know, happens. Yep. What's your uh, favorite disc to throw? Is there like certain discs for certain throws or uh, we never we're not familiar yeah, we have no with idea the, what so, yeah so we think it's still frisbee yeah so. but it was an honest question frisbee was yeah what i've been calling sure. yeah. so so <laughs> imagine like imagine like golf clubs you're gonna have your putters you're gonna have your drivers you're gonna have ranges okay. some that go straight some go left some go right okay so just uh, wait in the way it's made or what's normally uh like the the, the size of the rim Okay. The, the dominess of the disc will okay. do different things. Okay. Okay. So okay. Gotcha. Just, just a good, a good, good mid range, a Malta. Nice. nice. Made by Discraft. Nice. Any are you, any sponsors you want to throw out there? Uh, shout out to Par Fifty Four Disc Golf, which is a uh, a local disc golf retailer around here. Nice. And then also shout out to OTBDiscs.com. Nice. Uh, if you use code name Degenerate, you get free shipping on all of your disc golf orders. Oh, yeah. There you go. Go Degenerate. First actual sponsor. Dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We have a promo code, dude. Use Degenerates on that <laughs> website. Code name Degenerates anywhere. <laughs> Hell yeah. How That's long have the Degenerates been throwing? Since 2019. 19. Nice. Nice. So Is it just like a... the Olympics or... Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. They're on the they, way. They have to make it a sport first. Yeah, right. Really. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I figure... I mean, what are they doing? Like pole dancing and fucking... Australian break breakdancing. Break uh, yeah. Australian <laughs> breakdancing specifically has yeah. a lot of Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would love to watch disc golf way better than breakdancing. I maybe mean, that's could, just me. Maybe we could combine it's the sports. More. I mean, if you're... Disc golfing while... Breakdancing. breakdancing, yeah. You have to be in a full spin when you throw your disc. Yeah. I, I want to see gymnastics with, with disc golfing. So on the balance beam where I want to do, you know, do a flip. <laughs> Throw while you're flipping. Right. Pump there a horse. Just or like uh, one of the America you just Ninja Warrior, toss that thing. but Frisbee. Golf. Disc. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> disc. You're, but your disc does all the tricks for you. You throw <laughs> it and it goes, and it goes through the course. Yeah. Yeah. Are you good with, yeah. you good with the boomerang? No. No? Not yeah. at all. Not yeah. the same thing. <laughs> not not no. nearly no. the same thing. So let's say we're in a dom- like a domestic type situation. You think you could throw just a dinner plate, you know? <laughs> Stop an I mean, argument? I have, I have all plastic <laughs> plates in my house for a reason. Oh, okay. damn. I understand. <laughs> let's say someone breaks into your house <laughs> and you have do you have a Frisbee on your nightstand, I'm sure. No. No. No? But yeah. <laughs> what if yeah, you did, Intruder though? breaks in. You yeah. Have a intruder disc. breaks you in. Beam them. Beam them exactly. With yeah. What, what is your go-to disc to beam someone in the face? Probably yeah. destroyer because it just sounds. Oh, dude! Cool. Hell destroyer. yeah! You better watch out. Hell yeah! Well, I'm not breaking in this guy's house. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <laughs> just imagine that. Just you just got all the discs. Just ping, 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 ping. <laughs> Specifically with the sound effects. Right, right. right. Yeah. Ping, 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 ping. Have you considered melting a razor blade to the end of it? Maybe six or seven of them. You'd make it hard to throw, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, you're right, you really to grip it and you just get cut trying to. All right, to you also invest in a thick leather glove. Okay. okay. <laughs> like a falconing glove or well, something. <laughs> well, then I just want to put a razor blade to a falcon. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Uh, you a big mu- music talents. fan? You like music? <laughs> or nah? <laughs> yeah, pretty much just, yeah. you know, kind of pop punk emo cool. you know, kind of stuff. How do you uh, think of the band that was out there yeah, earlier? Tell Xander how good he did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fantastic. Awesome. Oh, fantastic. Cacao. There's all jokes here. All jokes here. <laughs> no truth telling. It's all That's lies. <laughs> well, well, appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for being on the podcast. Yeah, dude. This is so random. Thank you, Rob, Thank you, again, where the hell he went. Rob's yeah, the man. Round of applause there. for Rob. There he is, Rob. For once, I don't have to run the event. Rob is there, there to, to run There you it. go. Yeah, which is crazy because I've been setting up sound equipment all night. It feels like Rob's not doing anything, but, you know, yeah. whatever. <laughs> so what is the your best score on the most difficult course? Like, <laughs> like I mean, that, That's not a question. No? To be honest with you. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. That's all he wants, the truth. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, are aliens real? What do you think about P. Diddy? What do you think about P. Diddy? Oh, God. <laughs> That's why I can't get no baby oil. <laughs> I was wondering why there was a shortage on baby oil. Oh, uh, shit. Dildos. And dildos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bud. It was great to have you on the cast. Yeah, thanks, man. Thank you for having me. Everybody, check awesome. out Turd Coast Podcast. Turd Coast Podcast. You guys can see this. Lovely interview. Uh, 
Thanks, Sud Garden. Know, like four or five weeks from now before I uh, yeah. upload because I fuck around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sud Garden. Yeah, Thank you, everybody. Raw Sud Garden, everybody. Have a good one. Let's go.